Okay, well, this is going to be a conversion of a desk lamp. You can see here, uh, there's a fluorescent bulb, but the base has the touch sensitive thing that turns it on. Uh, this one died. And let's see if I can get in on the circuit code a little bit here. All right. So it's got a couple different wires and drivers for two different voltages. For the fluorescent tube, you have the input, uh, the wire going into the base to for the touch sensitive. Uh, but on this, if you can see the giant black mark, you can see it there on the other side. There it is. This one died horribly. Uh, so I'm going to take this whole thing out of here. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time trying to uh, draw out this circuit. I don't really care about that. Uh, this uh, thing was covered in this case. You can see right where it burnt through. Same spot. There's also some burning on this diode and transistor, but I'm sure something cascaded for whatever reason. Uh, so I'm probably going to try to find maybe something, I don't know if I'm going to do custom, maybe something commercially available, so if I can find something to just swap in here easily to convert it back into a uh, regular like an LED or something. I should be able to fit uh, just a regular socketed light in there. Okay, got this apart, took all the guts out of it, and based on the size, I ordered some lights that are of that type, and the plan is to put, was to put two of them in, but might end up doing three. Okay. But I'm going to have to put a couple holes, one there, one there, and then figure out to add a plate for that. All right, so those are T25s, T8s. And actually bought six watt, we'll see. I don't think they're actually six watts. Uh, I'm not gonna tear them apart to break them down or anything, but there's three in parallel, goes up to the top and comes back down the other side. So three parallel, two series, four watts, 400 lumens, six watts, 600 lumens. bought six watts these are showing as less than four just run through that for the heck of it it's pretty loose in there pretty simple this is a non-dimming so it just goes on and off Back now, it's a sticky pad. It's that. So, the next thing I did is I took this metal bracket, and I drilled two three quarter inch holes in it, and then in this empty 
area where the original plug was, I made a uh, took a piece of aluminum flashing, folded it back on itself, and drilled a hole in it. So these are all lined up, and now it's just a matter of putting it in here and making sure it all works. Okay. So these bulbs are only going to go out so far, but I think that'll work just fine. All right, so now I just need to connect this internally. Um, normally, just connect all of them together in a wire nut, but I don't really have a lot of room. It seems like it's going to be kind of annoying with stranded wires. Um, so I'm going to try to use one of these Wago connectors, although I only have three slots. So I'm going to put a couple of them together. That's locked in. That's locked in. Yeah, none of that stuff's going anywhere. That's pretty good. Okay, so those are nice and tight in there. That is nice and tight. Not the easiest thing to plug in, I guess, but oh yes. So that works just fine. So I temporarily hooked up the touch controller. Okay, so if I turn it on, nothing happens. Touch the base, and it works perfectly. Oh, I probably see. Okay, so in standby mode, it is, uh, what is it pulling in watts? 0.4 watts in standby. In that mode, now that I have that installed, instead of 11.5 watts, it's 11.75. Okay, got the sensor in the base, hooked it up with our connectors, and just need to adhere it to the plate. Uh, let's see, also put a description of what type of bulbs go in here now. Everything then fits in the base, and it's just a plastic cover that snaps in. Okay, so then the last thing I have to do is re just this hinge. Turning it on, it's right, 0.4 watts. Right, there's nothing. Let me touch the base. And works perfectly. So if you're doing paperwork, yeah, that's plenty bright. So that was pretty pretty easy uh, conversion. Put the parts in the description, and if there's any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below.